police sirens suddenly tear through the quiet afternoon commute in Oceanside, California. CHP unit there in, in chase, and this is the car that he's after. A news chopper joins the chase started by a drunk driver who refuses to stop. On the westbound 78 here. The chopper easily keeps up with the driver who's gunning the gas at a whopping 120 miles an hour. Officers want nothing more than to end this chase now. But if the cops can't stop them, a traffic jam will. An officer moves in cautiously. There we see the CHP units. Okay, they're telling them to stop. The chopper hovers over the action while the officer tries to negotiate with the driver. Now he doesn't want to stop. There's no bargaining. You didn't see any weapons drawn there, just a highway patrolman saying, step out, let's talk about this. They have given this guy a chance just to surrender. The suspect heads for the surface street. He careens towards an intersection at 70 miles an hour. And then the inevitable happens. Oh boy, here we go. No! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I'm sorry. Oh no! Oh no! This is terrible. This chase has just ended. Um, boy, I'm, I'm speechless. I'm sorry. Oh man. What a, what a horrific crash. The suspect runs a red light with devastating results. Despite the wreckage, they must approach the scene cautiously. This terrible situation is exactly what police officers try their best to avoid. The officers now work twice as hard, apprehending the suspect and rescuing the victim. It looks like the driver of the truck is out. He's OK. I, ha I personally haven't seen anybody come out of the, the Nissan 200 there. They're helping somebody out of the Jeep, the white Jeep right here at the top of your screen. Incredibly, everyone survives the crash. The suspect is confined to a life support system for weeks. A chilling example of the consequences of drinking and driving. 